Greetings, friends, and welcome to another Kentucky Route Zero Let's Play. This is episode four, I believe. Uh, we have been away for a little while because of the Steam Summer Sale and E3 and a lot of other exciting developments, but we are back, and we are exploring the Bureau of Reclaimed Spaces, whatever weird place that we are in now. Currently searching for a way to get to Dogwood Road, and unfortunately... We are being given the old bureaucratic rigmarole, and we are being told to talk to Clerk Metstein. She's just over there at the end of the room. So, here we go. We're going to see what we can figure out. Good old Conway is still limping from his mine accident, which uh, he does not look to be getting any better anytime soon, unfortunately. Let's talk to the clerk. This office building is like one of the cooler aesthetic parts of the game. That gas station was really great in the beginning, but the way this is designed and the elevator goes up and down, it's really cool. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. I just need your ingestion card and a list of your last five permanent addresses. Let's just skip it. Which one of you is Lula Chamberlain? Shannon, I've been trying to play as sort of a forceful personality, so we're going to have her come in and, and push some people around. Oh, sure. That's her in the cardigan. See, that's all you gotta do to get through the mess, to get through the red tape. Let's go talk to Lula. Conway stumbling around there. Having fun in the paperclip labyrinth? Well, you made it eventually. You look exhausted. I'd offer you my seat, but my ankles are turning on me. Arthritis? Dr. Truman says my joints are eroding one another. They've been collaborating for decades. It's only natural they want to kill each other now. Well, enough about my hateful wrists and ankles. This concrete bunker of an office is just a waypoint for you, I'm sure. Where is it you're trying to go? We are looking for 5 Dogwood Drive. Hmm, Dogwood Drive, that's funny. Do you know I used to live on a Dogwood Drive? This was years ago. A grimy old house, basement full of insects, attic full of birds. I had a few roommates. We all worked at the university. I had a dog. I drank whiskey and beer and made sculptures. You also talk in very short sentences, apparently. But that dogwood was a surface road. With a name like that, it would have to be, what are you doing on the Zero? A gas station attendant told us we'd need to take the Zero to get there. Gas station attendant, I see. Friendly blind man, about my age, hangs out with an old cat, likes to pretend he's a poet. His name is Joseph. Do you know him? Joseph and I used to work together. And we lived together. We were friends. Ooh. Scandalous. They were more than friends. A man and a woman living together? In sin? But that was a long time ago. We haven't spoken in years. Do you know why he pointed you this way? It's because he's still in love with me, of course. And now he's implicated you quite inconsiderably. And in your condition, it's appalling. So I'm very sorry for wasting your time, but I'm afraid you've been misled. Excuse me. Shannon's going to butt in and say, Get over yourself. Lula pauses, taken aback. Well, I guess that's fair. All right. Maybe I can help you for Joseph. The Dogwood Drive I lived on is now called Pale Dogwood Drive. They've renamed all the streets, you see. Too many streets with the same names. It was never a problem before, but now we have these databases, and it's all too confusing for the computer. The computer has no sense of ambiguity, so it proclaims an error. Name collisions, they call them. So my dogwood drive is pale dogwood drive, and another might be large-leafed dogwood drive, or Himalayan flowering dogwood drive, and so on. One of them is still just dogwood drive, or so we might hope. Yeah, I really do hope. This is a long matter to discuss. It's really a matter of consulting records, which we have in abundance here. Do you have a record of those streets? I expect we must. They'll be up in archives and records, fourth floor. It'll be filed under zero for autonyms, probably, or G for generic, or maybe S for specific, depending on which part of the street the name, or depending on which part of the street name was changed. Hmm. Well, I guess I get to climb the tower once more because nobody has any goddamn answers for me. I'm just limping around, trying to find this place, trying to drop off some antiques. Gotta hang out with all these weirdos on some trans-dimensional highway. I think. I think it's trans-dimensional. I think we're like in a pocket dimension of some kind. 
May I also remark that the elevator tunes in this game are A-OK -okay with me. I'm going to sit here and dance for a minute. Archives and records. So, fourth floor. Yes, indeed. We want to go to the fourth floor. Bears? Bears? Fourth floor. Let's stay away from the bears. I didn't see that the first time. Oh, that is a hell of a lot of records. This is going to take a while. Anything to look at in here? Documents? Damn, this place is a mess. Okay. Hmm. Take a look through that logbook, I guess. Maybe there's some kind of system to all these boxes. I'll just start digging. Small logbook has a smart leather cover. A few notes are scribbled on the inside covers. Most pages are just lists of titles, names, and dates. Let's look at the inside front cover. Note and logbook. Document staff. Please do not transfer any more records from the storage unit until we get more new file cabinets in. We're up to F, and that will have to do for now. They only have up to F? Instruct clerks to focus on activities beginning with the letters A, B, C, D, E, or F, or activities most likely to involve research on subjects beginning with those letters. For example, cars is okay because it involves automotive dry, driving, brakes, etc., but air quality is not okay because it relates to health, safety, pollution, etc. Oh, that's complicated. That's not a job I would want. That's a lot of paper pushing. Several documents relating to sporting competition venues were quickly checked out and back in over a period of a few days. Basketball courts, baseball fields, alleys, and parking lots. Uh, let's look at page 14. A single set of documents relating to coal mining operations was checked out and back in by several different people within a few hours. Hmm. Inside back cover. Note and logbook. Failing antique shops folder missing. Listed, checked in on page 63, but not present. That could pertain to us, because that's what we're looking for. Although, I hope it's not a failed antique shop, because then we're heading nowhere really fast. Check in. Failing antique shops. Monday, 3 p.m. Signee Ed Bohm. I have a feeling we're going to need to look for that guy. But for now, we'll put the logbook away. Nothing? Me neither. Half of these boxes aren't even labeled, and the rest are all from the first few letters of the alphabet. I couldn't find anything with an O or a G or an S. Maybe that clerk knows somewhere else we can look. Hmm. This is far more complicated than it should be. For that reason, I'm going to go down to the bare floor, attempt to kill myself. Okay, her office is on the first floor. Nope, we're not going to the first floor. I'm giving up. I'm going to get eaten by a bear, and all of my troubles will go away. Let's do this thing. Oh my god, there really are bears there. I wasn't paying enough close attention. Oh, okay. Hello, bears. My original idea was to come here and have you eat me, but that seems less appealing now that you're realistic. Is there anywhere to explore? You seem pretty friendly. We're just going to go back to the elevator. And not be bear food. Thank you. You're obviously very studious, hard workers. You're doing the Bureau a great job, giving great service. Okay, her office is down on the first floor. Yes, indeed it is. But why do I have a feeling I'm going to have to go to the second floor at some point? See, there's some sort of PowerPoint presentation going on there. Exciting, always exciting, right? There's nothing as exciting as when a PowerPoint presentation gets pulled out at a work meeting. Let's go talk to Lula again. Nothing? That's unfortunate. Well, they must still be in transit. You see, we've only moved to the, into this new venue somewhat recently, and it's all a bit in progress. This was a cathedral not so long ago. Can you believe it? As a matter of fact, I can. And then the Bureau reclaimed it, and the old congregation has been directed to one of our storage facilities for their activity. That's where you'll find the street name records. I expect at the church. 
Many Mary Ann at reception can give you directions. Just come back here when you have the files. We'll begin the necessary paperwork to have the information analyzed. Oh, and while you're out on the road, you might want to stop and see Dr. Truman about your lake. He's a specialist regarding ailments of the joints and limbs, and I know he works at night. His home is in a small neighborhood on the east edge of Bowling Green. Here's his card. Do stop and see him. That leg is a miserable sight. Take care of each other. Hmm. Well, maybe we won't have to go to the conference floor. And I would like to get this leg checked out, because seriously, Conway is not looking hot. And I don't think that this is the kind of game where I'll die because I waited too long to have his leg checked, but you never know. How many times do I have to go through this list of elevator floors? So no bears. No bears this time. We're going to go right down to the lobby and talk to Marianne. And the skipper, too. A millionaire and his wife. A movie star, a professor, and Marianne here on Gilligan's Isle. I think I said Marianne twice there, didn't I? Whoops. I like that there's a horseshoe on your movement marker. It's pretty cool. And it twirls around. Marianne, what do you have to say for yourself? And how do I get to this place, this storage facility? Get what you need? Lula said you could direct us to the church. I'm going to have Shannon ask. Be straight with me. What is this place? Just another office, lady. Just another job. But you kicked out a congregation to set up your office? I wasn't here for that, but yeah, I get where you're coming from. Still, I wouldn't judge until I'd seen everything. They've got a new church now. The Bureau set it up for them out in some sort of old storage space. I'm sure it's very nice. Yeah, sure it is. Go see it for yourself. Just get back on the zero and drive until you hit the crystal, then turn around. The crystal? It'll make sense once you get on the road. You can handle it. The crystal. So, hit the crystal and then turn around, is what I've been instructed to do. Oddly enough. There's old Homer. What a good doggy. He looks like he could eat a few cheeseburgers or something. He needs, he needs some meat on his bones, damn it. What? This is definitely not the same road we were on. Alright, we're going to travel up. Oh, are we in a wormhole or something? Oh, that's the crystal. Got to turn around. Bureau. I don't see anything. The jaws. The bat wings. These constellations or something. The TV. Wait, the bureau's not there anymore. The lightning bolt. The bottle. Back at the crystal. Let's try to turn around again and see what happens. I thought I did what they instructed me to do. Oh, there it is. Self storage. Here we go back. Let's check this place out. Act 2, Scene 2. St. Thomas Church. This ain't no church I've ever seen. Holy shit. Shannon? Is that it? Over there? I don't see any congregation. Maybe it's after hours. Let's see what the janitor knows, I guess. Shannon, why are you making me do all this stuff? I'm the one who can't walk. Why don't you go ask him? Oh, here for the night mass? What kind of mass is it? Tonight, it's a homily on work and need. Huh. I haven't heard this one before. Are you the preacher? Oh, I'm the janitor. I guess this must look pretty strange, a church without a congregation. When they first moved in here, man, this place was packed. They had mass every night, two on Sunday. But it got a bit awkward to fit everyone in, and the numbers quickly dwindled. Once folks started to see it as a thing that was falling apart, they lost their center of gravity and just started wobbling. 
Wait, so there's there's no congregation? Then the preacher stopped coming too, but he left behind his old tapes. Same with the organist. And I found some old acetates in the bureau archives, photos of people in churches, so I keep it running. Okay, janitor. You do what you have to, right? I don't think Shannon wants to put up with all this psychedelic bullshit. Right now, we have to find some bureau documents. Oh, you're from the bureau? I moved all those documents to unit C-15 to make room for the mass. It's down at the other end of the building. Same floor. I need to get the night mass started, but you can borrow my keys. I'll go. You wait here. Rest your leg. That's right, you're going to let me rest my leg. Am I looking kind of pale? Hmm. Nice lady. Well, I better get this running. Brandon presses play on an old tape machine. I think I'm just going to listen for now. There are many days on which we proclaim the value of labor and celebrate the piety of hard working through feast or abstinence, recognizing St. Joseph the worker who was foster father to our Lord Jesus, who trained him in carpentry and in the merit of sweat. And this in one such day... I'm getting bored. Let's talk to the guy. How do you like working here? It's okay. I don't really know what else I would do. I used to play a lot of card games, you know, in high school. Some of my friends went to college, but most of them just got jobs. Maybe in a few years we'll be hanging out in bars, playing darts or something. I'm not allowed to play cards in the bar because it looks like gambling. My leg is killing me. I bet everyone's telling you to go see a doctor. Hey, I get it. Too expensive. My dad cut his arm pretty bad on a job, but he stitched himself back up because he didn't have health insurance. But then his hand didn't work very well, and he just got pretty depressed, and eventually he just sort of... Well, I guess I don't know what he should have done. Who knows, right? Uh, something not so good happened to his dad, I have a feeling. So this is like a hobby? If you ask me what my hobbies were, I'd say card games, science fiction, and perspective geometry. Hell of a set of uh, hobbies there. But I run the slideshow, and I play the tapes, and I don't get paid for it. I take it pretty seriously, but nobody's telling me I should. Is that a hobby? Seems like there ought to be a more serious word for it. Okay, that's it. Next, there are some rituals that you and I aren't allowed to participate in, I don't think. And I don't remember them anyway. Hi, got it. Oh, Shannon's back. We were just listening to the sermon. What? I found what we came here to get. The file on street name changes. You don't look good. Let's head back to the bureau and get this straightened out, and then maybe we should go see that doctor the clerk recommended. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, I guess we're heading back out. At this point, I think we're going to call this episode uh, pretty much over. We're going to go check out what's going on back at the bureau in the next episode, so we hope you'll come back. Uh, you can also check us out at jetpackjoust.com. You can do a lot of really cool stuff over there. And until next time, we will give you a Bill Murray. <laughs>